Hello, let's learn some digital image processing operations. We will be using Python and OpenCV for this. So we will be doing some morphological operations. This is a practical tutorial. Therefore, I will not be explaining the detailed theory concepts. I will just explain whatever I'm doing briefly. So if you want uh, detailed theory concepts, we can do maybe some uh, another video sometime. If you want that, you can always ask me that in the comments. OK, let's start. So uh, let's do this task where we have to extract the boundaries. So these are different coins. And what we want is an image somewhat like this, right? the boundaries. So first of all, what we need to do is uh, uh, delete or, or remove these, uh, these holes inside. We have to remove these holes right inside these inconsistencies. So for that, we will first of all perform the closing morphological operation. And after that, we will perform erosion and uh, differencing for finding the boundaries. So let's see how to do that. Uh, let's see how to do that in Python using OpenCV. Okay, let's start. Normally, I use um, PyCharm, Visual Studio Code, or PyCharm, and sometimes Atom. But right now, I'm just going to use Ideally. Okay, let's start by importing OpenCV, and we probably need NumPy as well. Okay, uh, first of all, what we have to do is import the image for that. The name of my image is coins.png. And I'm going to load it as grayscale. For that, you can you use this zero if you want to load your image in grayscale. Let's now make a kernel. This kernel, we can use that, the numpy function, numpy.ones to make a kernel, let's say it has the size of 15 by 15, right? And we also have to give it the type. So since we are doing it on the image, u int 8. OK, uh, let's perform the closing operation first. Why are we doing the clo closing operation? Because we have to remove those gaps and holes in the coins first. If we don't do that, our boundary extraction uh, formula won't work properly. You can see the output with and without this closing operation as well. OK, so to perform closing, you have to, you can use this morphological operation, uh, morphological function provided by OpenCV morphology x provided your image, your flag that we want to do closing, morph underscore close, and your kernel. This. And we should also see what happens after this. Then we'll move on to the next step. see what happens after closing right I'm gonna save it and run Sorry, I had to write open CV2. What did I do? Here, I had to write CV2. My mistake. Okay, so after performing the closing operation, this is our output. And we should also display the original image here as well so that you can see the difference. So you can see after performing the closing operation we have successfully removed all the holes and, and um, inconsistencies here present here. Right? Okay. Now let's perform boundary extraction. After closing we have to perform erosion and to erode we need another kernel. We can 
can uh, get a kernel or a structuring element using this function provided by OpenCV. We are just telling it that we need a function, structuring element of the shape ellipse morph underscore ellipse. You can see it's appearing here. And afterwards, we will just this is the shape of our structuring element that we need. And now it's stored in the kernel. Let's perform erosion. Here, there is something important. Um, I'm going to write the rest of the function first, and then I'm going to tell you what is important. So kernel is the kernel, is this structuring element. And iteration means we just want to erode it one time. OK, here we have to pass a parameter. We have to pass the image uh, on which we want to perform the erosion. So the important point here is you will not um, give it this image. You will give it the closing you will give it the output of the, the, the last up output that we just had the image after performing the closing operation so we will write that here if you if you won't write this here you will get a very weird result and I'm going to show you both of them afterwards we have a formula for boundary extraction and that formula is let's call it boundary image and the formula is you perform closing and then subtract the closing, sorry, subtract the eroded image from the closed image. You do this, and then you get the boundary. Let's see. Boundary image, the original image and the boundary image. Let's see what happened. See, you got the boundaries. Okay, again, let's see if I did this mistake, and I would have not provided it the closing image. I would have given it the original image. What would have happened? Let's see. See, so it's basically just subtracting the original image uh, with the ero eroded image and you are getting uh, the boundary of everything, every little detail, every little hole, the boundary of the edge of everything here, present here. So we don't want that. That is the reason we close the image. We uh, remove these uh, gaps and holes because we just want the outside, the, the outer boundary, right? So again, for the outer boundary, we have to erode the closed image, the output of closed image. And you do that and you are good to go. I hope it was helpful.